Hey everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to the laundry room. Today's the day. The end is near. I am tiling the floor. It's going to be a very difficult task. Well, not difficult. It's going to be um, a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> a lot of hard work. Let's put it that way. So, we're in the laundry room. This is, if you're new to the channel, my laundry room is unfinished. And um, if you look at the link up there, you get to see the first video where I give you a tour of what the laundry room looked like before and what I've done so far. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour so you can see what the laundry room looks like as of now. Um, it's an improvement. I'm looking to have the laundry room look more welcoming, cleaner looking, more streamlined, and quite frankly, more pleasant to be in because this was really a dungeon. It's a very difficult room to work in because it is very industrial looking. The ceiling is not finished. The pipes are all visible. Um, the walls, half of the walls are concrete. The rest is finished, like the one you see in the back here that's um, sheetrock. And the floor is concrete. Now, the whole basement has a concrete floor. On the other side, in the regular um, basement, the previous owner put in some um, stick on tiles that are a four wood. And they've lasted since we've been here. Uh, even though I wash the floor and everything, nothing's lifting, so I'm not sure how he prepped the floor. I don't know if he completely sanded it or if he put a um, self leavening on it. But I did remove one of the tile a long time ago and it didn't look like he did any of this. It looked like he just put the thing right on. So what I'm going to do today, and I'm not going to talk too much because we, I need to get going. It's 11.30, almost 12. Um, I'm going to sand the floor with a heavy-duty grit to remove anything that's a bump, okay? Because there's some plaster, some of it is mine, some of it is previous work. Um, so I just want the floor to be a little bit even, or, well, not level, but at least even. Then I have a primer to put on, and that's a specific, I'll show it to you when we get there. It's a specific primer you use when you are about to put stick on tiles, okay? While the primer dries, I'll probably have to run to the Home Depot and get another pack of tiles because I only got 30 and I think I'm going to miss about 8. Okay, so I might have to buy more tiles. So let me show you what the laundry room looks like now. Okay, so this is the laundry room and what I've done so far. So I, you remember there was a ton of shelves here. I removed them, I painted everything in grey, I installed this shelf here. Um, I painted the wall over there, I put one of those uh, cover, I didn't finish all the covers. Um, there's a sink here, you see all the pipes, that's what I was telling you about, okay. And then here are my machines, which I finished yesterday with the contact paper, and then the dry vent, which I finished yesterday. And here is the floor, um, so you can see, yes, there's a toilet! <laughs> there's a toilet in the middle of the laundry. Um, so here's the concrete floor. So you can see that there's some area where it's um, kind of smooth and then there's some area where it is not smooth. And I have a uh, sander here. I'm going to use the super duper heavy duty grit uh, for my um, sander. You can see it's, I don't know if you can tell. I have my glasses on so I don't know if I'm in focus. So yeah, it's really, really um, rough. And then the tiles, here they are. So those are not on. These are um, the ones I just placed to see what it would look like. And they are traffic pastor stick-on tiles. They have a sheen on them. They're not high gloss, they have a sheen. And they look like they have um, separate tiles. So I'm gonna pull out a little bit and give you a glimpse of what it's going to look like. So no matter what, it's going to be a major improvement but a lot of work. So let me get started with the sanding. I have my shop vac right here. I'm going to put um, a mask on because it's going to be a lot of dust. But what I'll do is that I'll work little areas at a time and then vacuum and then work another area and then vacuum because I really, really want to minimize the amount of dust I create in here. Now, um, I should move the machines I'll do that at a later time because the machines are going to be replaced at some point and what we'll do is um, create pedestals for the new machines so I don't really need to tile right now but I do need to fix the toilet um, 
because you see it's on shims right now so I got the plastic shims for that and to answer the questions as to what I'm going to do with the toilet all right so first of all I want to get rid of it but the males in the house I've decided that we need to keep the toilet here because they find it to be very convenient I personally could do with that but you know we're gonna keep it I wanted to turn it around I can't because the flange at the bottom is in such a way that I just can't rotate this way all right or the other way well if I was rotating the other way there would barely any room here and then if I rotate it this way I was thinking about doing a half wall um, but I can't now I spoke to a plumber and what he recommended I do is that have him come over of course and he was willing to um, break all of the concrete here and because the um, pipe goes this way right so he was willing to just break all the concrete put a new flange here have the pipe join the sewer pipe right here and do the toilet over here against this wall so that way I can have a half wall so maybe in the future a very um, far from now I'll do that but for now you know what we're gonna keep the toilet maybe I'll put a curtain in front of it I don't know um, but I do want to keep the light from the windows so that's that oh and I did have this window here repaired so this is what I'm doing today I'm hoping it makes a huge difference no matter what it's gonna make the room look cleaner and that's really all that I want so let me get started okay here I am everybody and guess what I have knee pad this time around um and one of those because um, I don't want all that dust to get into my lungs even though it's gonna go all over my clothes and whatnot so let's get started I'm gonna start over there and work just this area for now again I'm not trying to get it like professionally smooth because this thing here this little uh, sander is not gonna give me the result that I would want you would need like one of those big sanding machines to do it but no matter what I'm still gonna be able to you know get it smoother than what I have now okay so let's go done oh my goodness I don't know how long it took I didn't time um probably an hour and a half um yeah that was tough okay so the floor is sanded um there were some areas that I could not get because they need a grinder and that's underneath the um slop sink utility sink we're gonna call it um I couldn't get that because it's like raised like this it's almost like the top of an ice cream I need a grinder for that. Uh, so I'm not going to do that area. I'll see what I can do. Um, but I'm definitely not going to be able to tile that today. Um, otherwise, the floor is done. So what I'm going to do is um, take a break. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. I'm going to have um, something to drink because it's getting hot. And um, I just swept and vacuumed. And I swept and I vacuumed again. And I'm ready to put on the... Um, primer so I'm going to show you what the primer looks like but first the floor don't know if you can tell um, a difference but the floor was sanded so again oh, I don't know why I did my glasses so I don't know if I'm in focus or not but yeah 
there's some areas that are, you know, like little pits and stuff, but when you put the tiles, it kind of disperses the weight um, on it. But otherwise, there is really no bumps, nothing. It's pretty, pretty smooth. So I think the floor looks like it's been sanded. I'm not sure. So anyway, that's done. Um, in the meantime, this is the Henry Self Stick tile primer so you put it on with a roll and you leave it on for about 35 to 90 minutes depending um, you gotta wait for it to dry basically and what it does is that it creates a um, bond not really a bond it creates a barrier and then it helps the tile to stick on the concrete so if this works and we like the result what I'll probably do is go finish my bathroom. <laughs> it's only been two years. Um, so what I'll do is that I'll take um, the special self-leveling concrete thing and I'll put it on the grout, you know, in the crisscross to level everything. And I'll put the primer, but upstairs I'd like to do the wood ones, not the vinyl ones. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I sanded the area where there's the most traffic really, really, really well. So that's the entryway, the access to the toilet, you know, the little passageway to the toilet, and then the passage, and then the uh, the area in front of the two machines, you know, where there's going to be the most traffic. Um, that got really, really well sanded. Um, when we touch it, it's pretty smooth. I'm not gonna say it's smooth like a baby's bottom, but it's smooth, better than what it was. Okay, so I am back, and here is the primer. It's this milky looking thing, and all you gotta do is. Um, dip your roll and you just roll it on your surface all right now what they want to make sure in particular if you have poor surfaces or surfaces that are a little bit uneven that you do not leave a puddle okay so just gonna go like this and it takes it says it takes anywhere between 35 you can't see me <laughs> I gotta move. Um, they say it takes anywhere between 35 and 90 minutes to dry. It doesn't have much of a scent, so I don't have to wear, um, you know, anything with it. Actually, it doesn't smell like anything at all. Um, and what it does is that it prepares the floor so that the stick on the, um, the adhesive on the tile really, really sticks to the floor. Okay. So that's that. So I don't know if it hardens. We shall see. I've never used it before. All I know is that the more you roll, the more it foams. So I'm not sure that's what I want to do. Okay. No problem. guys I am ready to start wait these are not properly positioned okay so I have um, the floor dry right it is dry so um, the center of the room is just about here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my first tile and then I'm gonna go ahead and add one after the other I do not have the roll that you're supposed to use, so I'm not sure how well they're going to adhere. But so far, so good. Okay. So I gotta go get my level. The corners is the part that's really, really important. Okay, 
so I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna work my way out and then I'll do the rest um, over there afterwards all right So these, these are not the kind where you grab them afterwards. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Let me move that down a little bit. There you go, you probably see. A little bit better that way. It's pretty easy to do, to be honest. Um, all right, so I don't want to repeat of that. So I'm going to do this here. So what I'm doing is that I'm really pushing them against each other because I do not want a gap. There we go. jobs I have done thus far. <laughs> it requires no skills whatsoever. But then again, who knows, maybe three weeks from now they'll peel off and I'll be cursing them out. Okay. making a huge difference. I don't know if you can tell already, but it's making a huge difference and I'm loving it. It's an expensive tile. A box is 20 bucks, you know. Scott won't have to get me another one, by the way, because it's really tiles. I don't think it's going to cover it. Especially if I have to cut all the ones on the outside. But I'm going to use um, the ones I have for all of the central area and then when he comes back, then I'll do um, the edges where I have to cut the tiles. But it's looking really, really good. Um, what a 
difference. Yes. So I'm just giving you a little glimpse uh, of where I'm at so far. So concrete floor, vinyl tiles, concrete floor, vinyl tiles. I am so happy it's looking clean. Let's look at it from this angle. It's not um, a huge sheen, so with the light that I have up above, you don't get blinded when you come in. And I mean, the joints are looking pretty good. I'm definitely going to put a coat of uh, rejuvenate or something over it to uh, seal it just to make sure you know water doesn't get in. Um, but yeah, what a difference! Wow. Okay, so I'm now at the part where I have to do the front of the um, wash and dryer. And again, I am not moving them. Technically, I should go through, um, but I'm not doing it because when we buy a new washer and dryer, this whole area here, there's going to be a custom-built um, riser where we put the front loaders on it. So I don't need to do that right now. So what I have to do is kind of figure out how long and big I need this. So I'm just going to make a little mark here. And there we go. Just take a uh, utility knife. Score your tile, okay, and then you just snap it like that. That's it. Peel it off, and you do the same thing. You place it right where it needs to be. Now, if I have something in front, I'm just going to put it back on this so that I don't lose the stick. Right, the sticky, and I'm just gonna carve a little dent right. You see a little dent that I made? Okay, and that's only to allow me to have the little foot of the machine. There we go. Right, that's it. Now you'll see when I show you the toilet. Um, my toilet is a problem in this bathroom. I mean, this bathroom in this laundry room, because the floor is really slanted. The back of the toilet is on the concrete. The front has to be raised. All right. So I've used the. Um, I am removed the toilet. What I did is that I removed the shims that I had and slid the tiles underneath it. And then I put new shims that are kind of like transparent, you don't really see them. However, I don't trust this toilet from here to there. I really don't. I never did. Uh, because this toilet used to leak and it, it's always been, that's why I hate it. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do sometimes this week is the same thing I did upstairs. I'm going to take it off the floor, redo, not redo the tiles, but like really, you know, flatten them around it even though the floor is really uneven and I'm going to redo the wax seal and then once I've done that I'll reposition the shim so until then they'll have to use the toilet upstairs um, because I really don't want to have to do that today okay not that I'm lazy I just don't want to have to do it today okay next next is the same thing I'm just going to remove a little um, is here. They really are easy to score. I mean, look at this. I removed that piece right there. Okay. And then I just need about um, that much. Oh, I can use this as a square. There you go. That's the uh, a quilter's um, ruler, and I can use it as a square.
Can you see what I'm doing? I want to put a rug. Now I can put a rug, a nice rug, right in front of the uh, washer and dryer. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, next. Okay, so this is where we're going to have a problem. Um, I'm at the corner right here of the door and I'm not removing the molding. You should remove the molding. I am not removing the molding. And this molding here is not only is it not square, it's in diagonal, it's rounded. It's going to be a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut a tile that's going to go this way here, right? And then I'm going to do another one this way and then a little one that way. Does it make sense? Because otherwise I have to somewhat cut the tile um, to fit this and I don't know if I can. Um, it's going to be, I don't want it to be where it just doesn't fit right and I have gaps. D does it make sense? I don't want gaps. Because uh, remember I want to be able to wash this floor and if I have a gap, the water is going to seep underneath the tile and then next thing you know, it's lifting. So if I just do it where it somewhat fits, well, I shouldn't say somewhat. Um, let me see. I can always remove it if it doesn't work. Okay. For real now. I can remove it. So I'm just going to go here. There we go. Okay. So that tile is going to fit in. Alright, let me install this. Okay, so it's not the best job, but this is what I was able to get. So I have a little, little um, dent here, but that's a piece I added and the rest looks pretty okay to me, right? You really got to be looking close in order to see that there's a seam um, over here. So, hey, so far, this is what I got. So I'm almost done, almost done. seven hours I'm super tired but I'm done guys you know what the best part about this floor is that I can finally wash the floor do you have any idea what it was like to have concrete I was constantly vacuuming you can't wet it really so wow I can actually mop the floor now and the laundry is gonna look really really good once I'm completely done so now all I gotta do is change the wax on the uh, toilet I did not tile the back of the toilet behind it right because I'm gonna remove the toilet tomorrow to change the um, seal so that way I can put the tiles and then I'll fix the one door underneath it but let me give you a look and you tell me what you think all right, so when you come out of the basement and you get into the laundry room, this is what it looks like. Wow, wow, wow. It looks super huge, um, which really it's not, but it looks huge. I just saw something here. I got to clean that. It's a little bit of glue. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, I did tile a little bit um, here so that, you know, it. you don't see that it's not tile. Um, you can tell that I did not tile underneath the machine. I did not do this area here. Again, you know why? Because the floor is really, really uneven. There's some serious bumps. So what I'm going to do is just put a skirt there. Um, this is the area that was giving me trouble earlier. And I did that. And then I have some area here where you see it's a little bit of a diagonal. But I managed. Okay. I managed. And then this area here. Um, is in a little bit of a diagonal too, but that's okay. I was able to pull the tile underneath the um, board, whatever you call it, the uh, baseboard. No, oh, I forgot. I'm so tired. I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay, and here's the corner here, right? So everything is done. Now the toilet, this is what it looks like. You see how it is really lifted? Um, I had the and then it's not over there right so you can see how my toilet is not even so when I redo it tomorrow um, there's nothing I can do about that is the floor um, I can use it again um, and I think 
it's a little crooked. All right, so now this area here, that's just plain ugly. That's always going to be ugly. I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I was thinking about putting another one of those, which is the cover for the heat, and just put it at the bottom and make it believe that I have another heater. Uh, why not? Or I'll have to do like a um, box um, to go along the whole thing and just to hide it, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. So now most of, I'd say 90% of the laundry is done, okay? And all I have to do is decorate. So I have to do window um, boxes to hide the, you know, basement looking things here. So I gotta do frames around. I gotta do curtains, yay. I gotta do curtains here. And then I gotta come up with something to hide this. Um, maybe I'll do a curtain, but let's face it, we'll never put it back. So I don't know, or I extend the box, the, um, the shelf, I don't know. I gotta think about that because that's just plain ugly but hey listen this laundry oh and I found these um, two but one of the glass broke so but I like them in here so that's it um I may do more of the contact paper like in the front I don't think I will um, I don't see the point or the need to do that I need a better looking garbage okay so the seams I, don't, I can't figure out where they are is there here no is it here? Yeah, there's the seam. So you see, you can barely see them. <sighs> it looks so much better. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you think? I like it much better. Anyway, I hope you like it. I like it. Scott likes it. This laundry room took a long time, but trust me when I tell you that this is a major improvement <laughs> compared to what it used to be. Um, So... The next time you will see me in here, I will start doing some decorative stuff, and uh, which is fun for me because the hardest part of the job is done. And I procrastinated doing it for so long. It was ridiculous, but you know what? I had to get back to it and finish it. Um, I really like it. I, you know, I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, I did okay, except for the toilet, where, which I have to, you know, redo. Uh, but otherwise, I think I did a pretty good job and I'm happy with it. So that's it for me. Well, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. Check out up there for the whole series if you want to see what it really looked like before. It was yellow. You remember the laundry room was yellow? Ugh, I hated it. Um, but anyway, um, share this video if you really like it and my channel with your friends and family members. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.